Hello everybody and welcome to another Top 5 Board Gaming video. Today is all about reprints. Before I get started though, if you haven't done so already, please take a look at all of my various social media pages as well as my Patreon page. On all of those, you'll be able to interact with myself as well as my channel in all sorts of fun and interesting ways. Moving right into it, reprints. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about games that I believe really need to be reprinted. These are games that are out of print or just sort of on and off within reprints, and I think that we really just need to have a good run of these games because they're great games that you can't really find anymore, the prices are hugely inflated, and it's just really difficult to get and or play these games. But that said, you guys know I love hearing from you all. What do you think of this topic? What do you think are some games that need to be reprinted? What are your criteria for thinking that a game needs to be print, reprinted, please let me know anything and everything in the comments below. That said, we're going to get started with my number five. And number five, with a tier, we have Dune. The reason that this is first off so low on the list, and secondly why we have a tier, is because it's never going to be reprinted. It has been stated by the people who own the Dune franchise, or the Dune um, intellectual property, that the game will never ever be reprinted. And in the end, we do have Rex, which is sort of similar to how the game works. But that said, I really love the theming of Dune, I love the books, I love the movie, and I love the game. I've only played it a couple of times, but I absolutely adored it. I know there's a ton of print and play versions and all this kind of stuff, but it's just not the same. It would be awesome to get a reprint, but we know it's never going to happen. Dune is my number five. And number four, I've got Stone Age. This is sort of a classic hobby gaming example for worker placement. It's a very well done game. It's incredibly well done thematically, and it's just a lot of fun. That said, it's lower on this list because there has been a little bit of sputtering from Z-Man games with a few reprints here and there, and they've even announced full-fledged reprints on occasion. But as of me recording this video, there isn't an announcement like that in place. So hopefully, we'll be able to see it soon. The nice thing is it's not out of the realm of possibility, but it's kind of surprising because a lot of people really love this game, and I know a ton of people would really like to see it reprinted. That said, Stone Age is my number four. At number three, I've got Die Machter. This is a really fun German parliament game, and I know that sounds like the biggest oxymoron you can possibly think of, but it is a political intrigue seat and vote gathering game beyond anything that you've ever known. It is absolutely incredible. I've talked about it a few times on my channel, but the idea being that you have your specific agenda that you're trying to get, you're trying to earn seats in parliament, you're trading political favors with your opponents, and all sorts of other cool things. It's an absolutely amazing game, and again, one that I'm kind of surprised has not been reprinted, but at the same time, it's a lot less um, popular. The um, gaming community is a lot less vocal about it compared to like Stone Age. So it makes sense in that context, but I'm still holding out hope. The problem is that there really hasn't been any word at all about whether or not it's going to be reprinted, so that's why it's a little bit higher up on the list. Dimocter, my number three. And number two, I've got Arboretum. This is a game that you hear about whenever you uh, start asking about set collection or just playing you know, like sequential numerical values, a little bit of card drafting, um, draw to discard, all of that kind of stuff. This is a really great, fun, colorful, artistic game that plays extremely quickly, has a surprising depth of strategy, and it's just so simple. All you do is you're drawing cards and you're playing cards. You're putting cards in numerical order to try to control certain colors. In that sense, it's kind of like Biblios because you have the different colors and whoever has the most sort of controls that particular color for the different plants of that style. And this is one that I have seen a lot of people talk about. It's a small game and I honestly cannot believe that it has not been reprinted yet. Again, everything in this video is based off of when I'm recording it. So hopefully between now and the time I post it, something will change. But I've only played Arboretum a couple of times and every time all I can think is why is this game not still in print? It's so frustrating. Arboretum, my number two. 
At number one, I've got Illuminati, the card game. The reason that this is on the list is, first off, I love the game. I love the humor in it, I love Steve Jackson games, and I love the strategy involved with playing this game. The biggest reason why I believe that this needs a reprint, though, is it just needs sort of an update. The thing is that the game originally came out in, I believe it was the mid-90s, maybe it was the early 2000s, I honestly don't remember, but I would love to see some new cards with updated references and some more of that very quirky and signature Steve Jackson-esque humor. Um, they did a good job with having a few of the expansions, so they have like stem cell researchers, yay, and all this kind of thing. But at the same time, I would love to see some more like pop culture references, some of the more recent memes, and all of this kind of thing. It would be really great to see that, not to mention just sort of update the overall look, give it a metaphorical facelift, so to speak. But that said, Illuminati, my number one game that I think should get a reprint. Well, everybody, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video on my top five games that I think need to be reprinted in some way, shape, or form. Now, again, I used a bit of a combination for criteria in terms of it's a game people love but can't get, or it's a, just games that need to be updated and look a little bit prettier or whatever it happens to be. But as always, I'm curious what you guys have to think. What are your criteria for thinking that a game has to be reprinted? And how do you go about saying it? What do you like to do? Why do you want it to be reprinted? Do you have the original editions? Are you able to play them? And how frustrated are you about it? Because I know I'm really mad about some of these. But that said, thank you so much as always for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.